Welcome to Cash Manager Focus. You will find that a lot of the great features of Rural remain, but there are some key differences that we want to show you. Within the settings, you'll find that the farm codes are set up the same, with sections, categories and extended codes. Remembering when we code or plan, we want to do it to extended code level. In Rural, the right click of the mouse gave us a lot of our options, but in Focus, we have these handy wee dots if you hover off to the right, or you can double click. Here is where we can set up codes to automatically split portions for GST and also set up rules similar to rural autocoding, which will allow the software to code transactions for you that are always the same. We can select to apply automatically if the coding is surely going to be the same every time, like say a bank charge, but if on occasion it might be something different, we can elect to review it before it's completed. We recommend that you pop in your livestock values and weights and this information feeds through to your EFS report. Management tags are the new enterprising. The cost tags are new. These can be used to track and report on expenditure for a project. We have several direct feeds available with more to come and also the invoice scanner to easily import your invoices, saving time and paper. Actuals is your new transaction screen. Needs action is split into two sides. Invoices, where any invoices you create to send to people, any feeds or any invoice scanner forwards will sit. And bank transactions, where your transactions from the bank will sit. We must code the invoices and notice how the software will pick up on the coding when we type. If the bill is not yet paid, we can save for later. Or if it is paid, then we match and select the transaction. On the bank transaction side, we can also match the transaction to a coded invoice or if there's not an invoice, we hit code and pop in the details. As with Rural, we can split the transactions. Within each bank transaction, we can save attachments, even pictures of receipts and also quickly create the coding rules using the pencil. We can handily multi-select to code multiple transactions to the same code at once. When transactions are coded or matched, they move here to completed. The headers can be used to reorder and make it easier to find something specific. The stock activity tab gives us a list of all our stock movements and is also where we can add in any non-financial events. Balancing is the new reconciling. Your bank balance feeds through from the bank and the focus balance is the total of all your coded transactions. If you're all coded and up to date, then these will match and you'll have a nice green line. If you are unbalanced, you'll be able to quickly find the day that this occurs and find the issue. If you have multiple bank accounts, you can switch between them here. Any tax invoices you've created to send to people are here. This is your plan screen, the new cash flow. At the top, we have the working plan. This automatically revises each month. Once you have a working plan in place, we recommend that you use your handy dots to set it as a baseline. This locks a copy down below so you have it to refer back to. You can also use the dots to duplicate as a draft, throw a draft up to be the new working plan, or change the plan year. Once in there, you will see that it's very similar to rural, with cash flow, livestock, and dairy farmers also have their dairy forecaster. We can drop down each category and quickly enter figures with a click, with the option to copy the figure to repeat in future months or spread the lump sum out. Or we can click add, which opens as a worksheet and we can add in more detail. You will recognise and be familiar with the reports, which can be found here. The question mark symbol will take you to our help centre which has a really good search engine built in to help you answer any queries. Or the team are always happy to help using the live chat or you can give us a call.